I'm having a bit of a chill night. I popped into Penny's today and picked up a few things. I picked up this. It's like um what's it called? Like uh it's basically like a nighttime moisturizer. It was down from six euro to one euro, so had to get it. Picked up one of these Brighton face masks. If you haven't tried Penny's face masks, you actually need to. They're actually like one thousand times better than you think. Picked up a cuticle oil from Essence, picked up a nail polish and picked up some nail polish remover pads because I am going to do my toenails and then picked up my favourite crisps which are the Tay O'Pron cocktail, oh my god, unreal. I am just sitting watching old school Anastasia Kings North vlogs, oh my god, she is my favourite youtuber ever like don't get me wrong but there is nothing like i mean like literally what year is this video from 2018 anastasia king so there is nothing like her i am back to work tomorrow um i'm 2 to 11 and i actually have a few packages at home waiting for me i definitely have a charlotte tilbury one and i have a pretty little thing one so the next clip you probably will see will be tomorrow when i'm at home and i'll show you what i got I'm just home from work. I have a few packages to open. But the first thing I actually opened is my license. Disgusting. Oh my god, I had to renew my license. How wrong. That's how long I've had my learner's license for. Two years. And do you think I've done one lesson? No. <laughs> half of it is COVID's fault, half of it is my fault. I do have like the biggest phobia of the road. It's actually sick. And then one day this year I just woke up and I was like, do you know what? I have to get over it. I have to get my license. I am 21 this year. It's a bit disgusting like that I don't drive. Um so yeah. I have a pretty little thing. Haul. Always love getting stuff from pretty little thing. Um I don't usually get stuff. I'm just, you know, I'm not the biggest pretty little thing lover. But Charlene Murphy, oh my god, she put up bitch, do you mind? A an in Instagram photo and she had these brown leather pants on and a pink corset. It was beautiful. Probably because it was on her. So we don't know what's gonna look like on me, but you know I had to buy them. And like I usually don't get influenced like that. That's the funny thing. Like I usually don't get influenced by other people like usually i'm like oh yeah that's so nice on her but like oh my god is this a knickers <gasps> why is there a knickers with a corset that is a knickers i won't be wearing it for those purposes that they're obviously are meant to be worn for um I got it in a large and I feel like I probably shouldn't have because like I do have kind of big boobs so I didn't know what size to get up. Oh the smell off it. Fucking rotten. But um, I just got it in a large because I didn't know what what size to get like especially a corset and especially pretty little thing I find their sizing is shit. Um, and it actually doesn't look that big like that's a large and I have big boobs like I said so uh yeah the smell off it is actually horrific and then i got these brown leather pants um these actually look like really good material uh treat me good color may run and they are just chocolate coated denim flares oh my god really stretchy love that yeah love this i'm definitely gonna have to like take an instagram picture in it because I'm just like so influenced. I think her style is un fucking unreal. I think she's unreal. Um, but like like I said, I've never actually been that influenced to go and actually buy a full outfit. But this time, the minute I seen that on her, and like with her blonde hair and she had like red tanned skin and all, I was like, oh my god, beautiful. The next thing then is from Miss Charlotte Tilbury herself. Oh my god, another thing that I was like greatly influenced on with charlotte tilbury now i knew like i was always going to pick up charlotte tilbury makeup because obviously i know it's meant to be like absolutely flawless but um someone that actually like made me go okay now i actually have to go buy it is rachel leary oh my god if you haven't watched rachel leary she is amazing honestly she's just like my like 
my soul sister and I feel like that's exactly how I am except like I'm just it's not that I'm too nervous to be like that on camera it's just like she's obviously so comfortable with it because she's been on YouTube for like years and years and years she's literally amazing she did like a makeup tutorial and like nearly all her base products were from Charlotte Tilbury and I actually have a pro discount because obviously I'm qualified makeup artist like so I got a lot of this for a lot cheaper I think I spent like 140 and it was meant to be like 300 or something so I actually had to get this oh my god it's broken oh the like gift box because I wanted to like display it in my beauty room but look it's like broken at the side but it's fine it's fine like look at the packaging like oh my god it's so luxurious it actually makes me feel bad for even opening it but um, yeah, I'll just show you everything I got. Okay, so I picked up three of the foundations because if you have a pro discount, you know, if you pick up three, they actually go uh, down to 12 euro each. So like these foundations, I got all of them for 36 when like one of them should have been like 45 or something or nearly even 50 euro. I got uh, eight neutral, 7.5 neutral and, oh no, I got five neutral, 7.5 neutral and seven neutral Um, because my skin tone is quite neutral. I'm not very like yellowy, but I'm not very pinky if you get me. So um, I said like get all around that kind of skin color and like one of them should match. I picked up the Hollywood Flawless Filter in Medium. I picked up the Hollywood Contour Stick in Fair Medium. Picked up the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Oh my God, this is meant to be like magic in a bottle. Well, it's all meant to be like magic in a bottle. Uh, I picked up, this is what I'm like most excited for out of everything. Picked up this, this is the airbrush flawless finish um it's like the new like packaging or something i just got it in the shade medium uh what is it yeah medium this is meant to be unreal i'm gonna try open it just to see it looks a lot smaller than when i see like people using it under story but look it's like just new packaging and oh my god like is that just not like even just the packaging to me is unbelievable and then I just got to pick two samples. I picked up the Magic Night Cream because I know the Magic Cream is meant to be beautiful. So I wanted to try it because I know it's quite expensive even with the Pro Discount. I know it's like 90 euro without the Pro Discount and I think with the Pro Discount it's still like 70 euro so that's a lot. Um, and then I picked up the Lightweight Moisturiser um, Magic Cream Light. It's like the one that's in like focus that type of spray bottle so yeah those are the two little samples I got